tutorial for yellowtail snapper pan saute. First step, take it out of the packet, rinse it, clean it, and make sure there's no bones. Okay, I'm going to take this fillet, I'm going to cut out all that red stuff. To me, that's what makes it real fishy, and I just don't like it that way. All that red stuff right there for each fillet out of the center. Nice sharp knife, slice at an angle. There's the red going in the trash. Okay, got all my clean fillets. I'm going to drain the remaining water off the plate. All that water, I'm going to drain that off there. And I'm going to roll it in olive oil. Alright, once the water's drained off the plate, I like to pat dry each fillet. There's not too much water on them. Makes the oil stick a little better, maybe. I don't know. It's just something I like to do. Alright, here's everything I'm going to use. Olive oil, garlic salt, blackened seasoning, and Old Bay. Can't cook fish without Old Bay. I'll make sure all that wet all the way through with olive oil. That way the seasoning sticks on both sides. I'll flip them a couple times in that olive oil. Cover each one. Garlic salt first. Never have too much garlic salt. Old Bay. Not a whole bunch. I'm going to put the other season on there. Well, I said not a whole bunch. But I love my old bag. And Chef Paul's blackened seafood. Actually, I think it's called black and redfish. Alright. Got it all nice and covered. Alright. I'm going to turn these over and flip it. And season it just like this. Both sides are seasoned and ready for the frying pan. I'm going to go prep my frying pan. Okay, got the pan heating up. Put about that much butter in the pan so nothing sticks. And it's going to melt down and be ready for my filet. Stove top's on about seven and a half, and not quite ready yet. Let it heat up just a minute. Alright, sounds good. About halfway done on one side. And you can see the meat turning white. That means it's almost done on that side. Top side's still a little pink inside. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and flip these. They've been on for about maybe a minute and 15 seconds. When I flip them, I like to get them to land in a little bit of the butter that's juiced up in the pan. That way you know they're not going to stick. Now all these pieces are real thin. Probably another minute, minute and a half. They'll be ready. Ready for my plate. Okay, it's been about a minute and a half. I'm going to take the thin ones off first. Let that thick one sit on there for just another second or two. Alright, take it off. Now me, i got three more big fillets to cook. Still got all this halfway burnt butter grease down there on the bottom of the pan. 
I'm going to take this and clean this off real quick. I'll start with a new, a new clean pan. All right, nice and clean. All I did was dump the grease out in the in a Pepsi can, wiped it out with a paper towel. Now I'm ready to start over with a little bit more butter. This will melt down pretty fast because it's really hot. Just like that. Turn my heat down a little bit. It is getting a little hot. Now I'm on about, I'm on about six. Just about ready. I got my three thicker ones on there. Four maybe. Here's the remainder, the second batch. Alright, give them a little shake. They've been on that for about 45 seconds, maybe maybe close to a minute. Shake them up, make sure they're not sticking. Alright, I'm getting ready to flip them. Don't you wish you could smell that? Ooh, it smells so good. Alright. Been on there for about maybe a total of three, three and a half minutes. I'm ready to take them off. I'm ready for dinner. Smells so good. Turn off the oven. Don't burn down the house. That's a plate full of fish. All right, I'm ready to go chow down. Looks good to me. Make your tongue slap your brain. Pretty much uh, pan seared, blackened, yellowtail. Not blackened real strong though. Just used a lot of the seasoning. Old Bay garlic salt, olive oil, that's it. I'm fixing to go eat.